We both. showed them. <laughs> We've been trying to get more relationship videos out there and I asked Stefan and Stefan not being a very big camera person was very nice enough to be like, yeah, I'm, I'm down to talk about our relationship. So we f don't really have a lot of time together, but we do spend a lot of time in the car. What is that? Austin. Austin. And um, Aston. Aston Martin. Since we're in the car a lot, we decided we'll talk about our relationship here, where we're most in our element. Most of our conversations are, end up in the car most of the time. Our deepest levels of conversation are carried out in the car. So um, I think today we'll start off our first relationship video talking about how we met. Car talks. Car talks. We should come up with a series for this. Car relationships. We met in high school and uh, we had a class together, entrepreneurship class. The biggest project, like most of our mark, was to start a group together and start a business, make profit, find investors. And I was with a few of my friends. Oh, they were really dark. my friends first. Yeah, they were his friends first. And, but From then I got. High school. Yeah, from junior high. I was a transfer student. I transferred back to my home school. And so I kind of knew some people there from elementary, but I was still didn't really know them. Um, but yeah, we started a group. We started a group project together. And Stefan kind of came in as an extension because his cool group of cool friends, um, they had too many people. And you were like, that's fine. I'll, I'll go to another group you being you yeah. and then um you joined us yeah. and that was my first time kind of talking to him from what i knew of stefan he was the only tall guy in school and <laughs> i thought you had a girlfriend at the time no i thought you had a girlfriend at the time and i was like he's so tall and quiet why is he so quiet he's just so quiet and i was like i wonder what he is i know it's really bad but i was like is he 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 looks mixed I have no idea what he is. I was like, is is he like Latino? I don't really know. It was very ambiguous to me. But never did I ever think that you were Indian, which is what everybody thinks. We decided to sell Rice Krispies. No, we did. Well, yes, Rice Krispies were the main thing. Yeah. And then anything else we could buy at Costco. Yeah. And resell. Oh yeah, one bite brownies. Yeah. And yeah. Resell. And we were so stupid because we were in a primarily Asian school and the yeah. other group decided to make bubble, uh, tea. bubble tea. And Of course that shit's going to go well. Yeah. I remember a few of the teachers were like, oh man, one of the teachers had this Rice Krispie and they said it was the best they ever had. So I came and got more Rice Krispies and I was like, okay, I don't think Rice Krispies are or anything special, but. Um, we made the shit out of those Rice Krispies. Yeah, we did. Well, Stefan did. And actually, Stefan came over to my house to Your make them. My parents were there. Yeah, my parents were there. And they're like, hey, cool, sure, fine. Nothing. Didn't know that there was... Well, by, by then, there was nothing there was between. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, there was nothing. We just started talking. Talking uh, on MSN. Yeah! <laughs> we really hit it off, right? Because yeah. MSN is so easy um, for a shy boy yeah. to talk and not feel pressure. And I was on the computer all the time anyway. Yeah, and I am a chatty person anyways. So we just we just hit it off. We're very we're very different people and I think that's how it worked. And then how we got together was the best. Yeah, with Jen Wu. And Jen Wu was really close to Stefan. Um and I was pretty close to Jen Wu too. We were over at her house, the both of us. And I remember we were in her room and she was like do you guys like each other? <laughs> we look at each other and we're like, uh, hmm. I guess. I, yeah, maybe. Kinda. And she was like, why don't you guys just date anyways? <laughs> I think you asked me out after that. That's when I started sneaking out of the house. Yeah. So I would sneak out of the house and I have like an elaborate alarm system at my place. My parents are really like big on security and stuff. So trying to turn off that alarm and then keep the door and the door is a really it's a solid wood door and it was really loud and um 
trying to keep that door from screaming when it closed so I kept it partially open and then we would hang out in his dad's car we wouldn't even really drive anywhere we just hung out right yeah make out eventually make out in the car do those young kids and I think my mom started asking questions like or maybe I told my mom that I had a boyfriend and the first question was like what is he and of course I was like well he's he's Guyanese and half white my mom made some very racist comments about that sorry mom to put you on blast like that but that's what happened immediately was like not for it she was against him but but when we were young, my parents would be at work and then after school, he would walk me back home and I'd be like, come on inside, like come inside and hang out for a little bit. Um, horny teenager stuff. <laughs> and we would hang out and sometimes my parents would come home earlier than expected and then he would, he's been caught a few times, which doesn't leave a good impression. And that's for us to blame, for sure. So he's been caught a few times. And then dad, when, do you remember when my dad first met you? Yeah, not on good circumstances. Yeah. And he was asking you questions by the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. But he was nice back then when he asked you those questions. He was like very calm about it. He mm -hmm. was like, okay, this is the boyfriend. Like, let's ask him questions about... What, what he do doesn't want to do. Yeah, he did. He was like, what do you want to do? My dad probably couldn't handle. You don't think of your parents as human. But I'm sure he was going through a lot of emotions himself and really not knowing how to approach this. Mm -hmm. Things were pretty ugly at the start. Um, plus, we were arguing a lot when we were in high school. And there were times where Stefan would come over and... There was once where you sat outside at the front porch and I wouldn't talk to you. Mm -hmm. And you just sat outside in the front porch and then my parents came home and saw you and they're like, what the fuck is he doing here? <laughs> and you were like, I wanted to talk to your daughter. I'm sorry. We were never in any classes together after that, which, which I was really hoping we would be. But you did, yeah, you did all the art stuff. I did all business stuff. Yeah. But we never even really ran into each other in school. Like back then, I was on pay-as-you-go texting. I couldn't text him ever. Really? Yeah, we like, we couldn't really talk until we got home and we're... On the phone. On the phone. Or MSN. Yeah, on the home phone. <gasps> the home phone, that's how we talked. Mm -hmm. I remember when we first started dating, we were walking down the hallways and we were holding hands. And we walked up to your friends and you let go of my hand. And I was so sad. Mm. I was so upset. I was like, why? Are you ashamed of me? It's high school. It is high school. So we talked about that. And you said that you were shy and you didn't, you were embarrassed. But meeting his parents were so easy because they're pretty much white. And it was like, what a lovely Asian girl. <laughs> She is so pleasant. That kind of began this very tumultuous few years of we argued. We argued quite a lot. And also I argued a lot with my parents and they kind of made us feel like we're too young and we don't know what love is. Mm. And I still felt that way. I totally agreed with them. I was like, yeah, I don't think that this is going to last. Like, but... There's no point in ending now. We just yeah, we like each other, so we're just exploring it. Figure it out. Yeah. And then, for some reason, we lasted this long. We'd, oh, we we broke showed them. <laughs> but we did break up once. We broke up just before grade 12. Mm -hmm. And then... And then... Started hooking up again. <laughs> But we'll talk about that in another video. We have arrived at our destination. Yeah, we'll expand on the whole like parents not approving. This is this is the first episode of. Next time we'll be in a different car. Room boom boom. Is that a good name? No. Not at all.
if you guys have any questions for us, we can do like we can answer your questions as well while we're in the car. Oh, wait, you guys subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on social, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Goodbye.